Hi everybody, this is Andrew Quitmeyer from Georgia Tech's Biotracking Lab, the Multi-Agent Robotics and Systems Laboratory. And right now I'm going to show you how to use our uh, one component in our biotracking pack of software uh, called the Backgrounder. Um, so the Backgrounder is a very simple but it can be very powerful um, application uh, that basically creates a video background um, for your tracking purposes. So to open it, first all you do is you choose um, the appropriate app, so it's called Backgrounder, and you decide if you have a 64-bit machine, you go with Backgrounder 64. If you have a 32-bit machine, you click on that. Uh, if you don't know, you click on both of them, and one of them will open. Uh, da da da! Perfect. Um, so I have a 64-bit machine, so I chose 64-bit. So let me show you real quick a sam a demo of. Um, what we're trying to get here. So we have in our little sample video file, we have this um, video that has many ants um, crawling all over the place. So you see lots and lots of ants. And what we want out of that is we want to know what the background looks like. So this is the background. But how did I get a beautiful um, picture of just the background without all those ants running around? Now one way I could have done it is I could have um, just locked my camera into place and then got video of the original arena before I loaded ants inside of it uh, so that it was just all perfectly clean and everything um, and then just taken a still from that. That would work perfectly well except part of the problem is is that when you're doing an experiment or whatever um, there happens to be a lot of things that happen between uh, when you first start recording and when you um, actually load in your targets and capture the video of them. The camera could minutely move, um, the, uh, the lighting could change quite a lot, um, and so it, uh, in some ways it tends to be better to find a background that's from the exact you know, moment when you're recording your actual ants and when you want to track them. And so that's what this app will help us do. Um, notice you may be like, well, there's one ant left in there. This ant was actually dead. Um, so it will show up in the background perfectly because it never moves. Um, so the way you use this app is you go to the big load video button. Um, you find some good video or the video that you want to track. Um, da -da -da, let me find a good video. Uh, this one's pretty good. Okay. Um, you will see it loads it up in the um, preview pane on the left. Um, you then have two of these toggles. Uh, this is your out. So this is as far, right now I'm setting the, the regions from when it will find the background, what, what set of frames it's going to average or determine the background over. The reason you choose this set of frames is because this can be a quite time consuming process and so if you want something done really quickly you can set it to a very short number of frames. Um, so you can see from the, the very first frame it will analyze will be 531 and the very last frame it will analyze will be 637. The next thing you do is you choose your backgrounding mode. Um, so the default filter is a median filter, which tends to be kind of the, the uh, standard filter for getting a good background in a lot of computer vision applications. Um, but we also include a couple others. We have the mode. Um, this basically takes whatever the most common value is for a pixel in a certain location. That's what it will record. And then there's also the averaging mode. I'll show you the averaging mode real quick. We include this because it's kind of the sloppiest way to get a background, but it's also the quickest. Um, and it kind of demonstrates what's going on here. So you see that this ant right here is walking upwards, and we're taking the average of all the pixel values seen in this region. So you can see he's turning, or she is turning into a somewhat of a blur. Um, if you average over a long enough time, you will mostly get just what looks like the background. So you'll see all these ants, instead of turning from bright black um, sets of pixels, are now kind of uh, smooth blurs that go over the entire background. Um, so this works 
okay, um, especially if you do it over a really long time um, and it has its uses. And the other thing is that it's very quick. So if this looks good to you, you can simply save the background. Um, you click that button, you go to, you navigate to wherever you want to save this project, and then you give it a helpful name, something like background project name, and just hit save. Da -da -da. And now, when we go and look at that video, or wherever we saved it, we will see that we have a PNG file uh, that looks just like what our preview plane looks like, but in full resolution. And we can load this into like our multi-tracking uh, application for finding backgrounds. Um, you, one thing to note is that certain cameras say they record at 1920 by 1080, um, but ones like uh, Canon DSLRs actually record at 1920 by 1088, according uh, to this. Um, so if you're going to handcraft your own background, which you can do in like Photoshop, make sure that its dimensions match the same dimensions that your operating system is reading that your video has. Um, so we'll close that. Uh, now we'll go back and I'll show you the kind of more advanced filter. And this is the one we leave as a default, the median filter. Um, what it does is is going to, instead of just taking all the pixels and kind of smooshing them together, it tries to intelligently find a common pixel in, in the form of, if we line up all the pixel values, um, takes whatever is the median of the value, whichever one ends up in the middle if we arrange them. So we set the beginning and end. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit closer so you guys don't have to sit here because it's kind of a more time consuming a way of getting a background, but its results can be very nice. Um, then you just hit start. The median filter, because it uses lots of memory, instead of doing every single frame updates, it does it in passes. So you'll see the very top, um, maybe one sixth of your preview pane will change before the very bottom one sixth. So it does it in passes from top to bottom. Um, and you can see what frame number it's on to analyzing down here. So it already made one pass and you can see, oh, it really took a nice um, clean background out of the top here where there were ants running around um, and suddenly now this entire section up here just looks like clean white. You can see this ant is right on the edge of the pass and will probably disappear once we get this to frame 604. Da -da. Boom. So you can see how much more impressively this one works than just doing the simple averaging. But again, it takes slightly longer. But of course, I mean, the whole point of this software is just uh, set it recording and, or set it uh, doing its backgrounding and just walk away and come back in 10 minutes and you'll have a really nice background. Um, so I can show you basically what the results of this look like. Uh, you do the same thing as before, uh, so you can already kind of see the results. Um, if we went for a longer amount of time, we would have gotten rid of this ant. Again, this ant's dead, so that ant will always show up. Um, but here's what your results will look like at the end. Da, da, da. And this is included in the kind of the sample videos folder that comes in your BioTrack pack. And so you can see from that video, um, we got a nice clean background. So that's how to use the backgrounder app. Um, if there's any questions, please uh, contact us uh, via our, our discussion list.